Okay, uh, okay. can I start? Mrs. Yes, Indri? Yes, the, yes? yes, the floor is yours for us. around 35 okay. minutes, please. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Thank you, Sinta. Uh, hi, uh, good morning, everybody. So today I would like to, uh, well, share my... Okay, uh, so let me start that this is with the international workshop on material at fun, uh, characterization. And uh, so I will discuss a little bit about the neutron scattering and lithium ion battery to have understanding uh, the phenomena of the battery. Yeah. So uh, as mentioned before, uh, this is uh, what I will uh, discuss, but I want to, uh, well, uh, tell about, about me and how the neutron travel, yeah? Not only uh, neutron travel, but as neutron scattering scientists also, uh, I'm traveling also uh, around the, the globe. So, uh, and then the neutron source in the world and how to produce neutron, basic principle, and neutron versus X-ray, and then neutron for light element in situ battery experiment. But for in detail, maybe the next speaker, uh, Dr. Michael will, will explain you. Okay, I mentioned before that uh, I, uh, I graduated from, from Berlin and also from McMaster University of Canada uh, and become professor in 2010. And yeah, at first the, the nuclear is rather <clears throat> far, you know, it is uh, to, to, to be there, yeah, to be in the world of the nuclear scientists. <laughs> At first, I want to be a doctor, actually, medical doctor. But, uh, you know, the well, life change, okay? Life change to become the, the physics uh, physicist. So, well, let's start uh, my life in, uh, in this world, the Newton world. So, uh, about 10 years, I spent uh, in Germany and Canada, yeah? Uh, both in the, the reactor, yeah? Reactor in Canada, in Chalk River Laboratory, in McMaster, in, not only in Germany, also in in France. So I went back to Indonesia in 2000. And then uh, afterward, I uh, have this uh, collaboration internationally. Uh, yeah, this uh, almost 10 years that is uh, moving around, but mostly about either the, the material or the neutron. That is my, my life. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, I think it's time for me also to do some contribution. Therefore, I yeah, make this. Uh, uh, what is the society? So this is when I was in, in Germany. I, I wrote my roadmap to finish. I mean, plan. This is uh, my note in 1992, yeah, when I started my PhD program uh, in, in Germany. And then uh, I moved to Canada. So actually, uh, yeah, that is McMaster reactor. And I have to travel 600 kilometers from McMaster because the the, the biggest reactor is in Chalk River, the Ottawa. So 600, I have to, you know, to drive for the experiment. Yeah, the preliminary study. So the sample I, uh, I did in McMaster and uh, check with the McMaster reactor, which is a small reactor. Yeah, uh, but, uh, and then, so I have to, to go to, to Chalk River laboratory. So, uh, yeah, I, I did it for a few years when I, when I did uh, my PhD and also postdoctoral uh, at McMaster. So this is the, the person that uh, make me like today, yeah? So I have a professor, uh, first Professor Meze, he's my supervisor. He is the well-known scientist in neutron, yeah? Uh, he, he found the uh, neutron spin echo, time of flight spin echo, yes? And maybe, uh, well, uh, one of this, uh, his instrument uh, in, in ILL. And then uh, he was in Germany, and then uh, I was co supervised by Professor Colin uh, from McMaster. Uh, he is one of uh, the student of uh, who is the uh, Squires. Maybe if you are working in Neutron, there is uh, Squires, yeah? Uh, so the, uh, the book is uh, very uh, well famous. And then uh, I work also supervised, co supervised by Eric Svensson at Chalk River. He, uh, he was one of the students of the uh, Bertam Brokos the Nobel Prize winner. Yeah, so this is the Brockhaus and then the Shul, uh, the, they both uh, got the Nobel Prize in uh, neutron scattering. So I, 
I received the you know uh, inspiring lecture from them. So in 2000, year 2000, I came back to Indonesia, dedicated to Indonesia. Well, actually, I was also at the time was uh, over to to work at Ansto and also Japan, but see, I dedicated to Indonesia back. And then, yeah, I think, uh, well, as a neutron scientist, I'm a nuclear scientist, neutron scientist, yeah, sometimes it's mixed, yeah. Uh, neutron is nuclear, yes, Bu Indri? It's a new, yeah, I think eh, sometimes the people that's nuclear is always talking about the 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 source of PLTN, yes, the power, but, well, neutron is part of the nuclear, nuclear also, uh, you know, uh, but for the, mostly for the material research. So I think that this become the neutron scientist or nuclear scientist. I, I, I could have the uh, see the world. Yes, this is all the uh, the facility that I, I have ever worked. Yes, so I've been in, in Germany and then also in France and then also moved in Canada and then back to work in uh, before before JPAC, I work in uh, KEK. I spent that six months and then there is JPAC now and back again, uh, we have collaboration with ISIS and also with Australia, with the OPAL. No, before also I worked with the, uh, uh, what is the name of, uh, I, I forget, this is the, the old, old one, yeah. So this is the neutron world, yeah. It, it doesn't matter, the source can be from uh, other population or, yeah, so, so that is the main, uh, so uh, therefore, up to now, uh, well, I, I cannot leave this society because it is part, yeah, around the world is, uh, uh, yeah, we know, we know, uh, well. Okay, so this is uh, some, yeah, through the, so through the Neutron, we, we have several uh, meeting, conference, and yeah, in, in, in several countries. So, so I think that is uh, what the Neutron for, and then uh, my professor from Germany also attend, uh, yeah, visited me in, uh, in Indonesia. So this is all the society I mentioned before, that is a Neutron Society. Uh, this is the Asian Ocean Neutron Scattering Society. So we work together, nice, have good collaboration. So normally we have the facility director meeting and then EC meeting, and so just keep the collaboration. Yeah, sometimes we have also the, uh, the tennis. And this is, uh, there are also uh, the conference of uh, international conference on neutron scattering. This is uh, uh, from, there are European society, uh, Asian society, and also there is also uh, American society. So we gather in ICNS, International Conference Neutron Scattering. So if you work in neutron scattering, so be part of this, yeah. So this is, this is the uh, part, uh, so we meet uh, and yeah. Uh, I'm glad to, to be still here. Yeah. So one, uh, there is also a, uh, in Hong Kong. Yeah. About the neutron scattering. Okay. So uh, the next is uh, okay. This is uh, only some word. So why, why is neutron? Neutron. Okay. Uh, I mentioned before that neutron is something that unique. Yeah. Unique but universal. Neutron has no charge. Neutron. Neutrons. It's you cannot see the neutron. Yeah. Yesterday it's explained by uh, Professor Stewart or, or maybe the, the other one. Yeah, it's like something that you cannot see in, in a big stadium, yeah? But because there are no, no charge, so it can travel, it can just, uh, you know, uh, pass to the inside of the nuclei. So the different, different with the X-ray, yeah? So we have to thank to uh, Chadwick who uh, found this and then uh, got Nobel Prize in for the neutron, yeah? Well, uh, well, if we talk the story uh, afterward, there's bomb and afterward, but we talk about not, not, not the, the uh, well, not for uh, the atomic bomb, but this is we, we talk about the application, right? So as mentioned, and I will not uh, discuss in detail, but uh, there are two kinds, maybe at, at, uh, first uh, produced by a fixture, efficient rea reaction, yeah? It happened in the reactor reactor source, yeah? So if you talk the reactor, there are two kinds of the reactor. First, the reactor that you use the power to, to make this, uh, the energy, the power, but there is also reactor that you decrease the energy to become, uh, so the, uh, the atom have the wavelength close to the wavelength of the material. So you have to decrease. So you have to have the, uh, you know, you have to have the, uh, moderator, yeah, it can be this is a uh, 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 water, uh, uh, pressurized water, yeah. So 
so you can uh, whenever have the neutron have the wavelength uh, as the same as the uh, an atomic uh, scale so it means that in angstrom so you can see uh, directly what is inside of the material but the second it's uh, it is the spallation yes it's different yeah different because this is just an uh, energy proton and then you have the nuclear heat and but but finally, you have also the the pulse of neutron. So, so the at the end it's the same, but maybe uh, in, uh, this is more the uh, time of flight, yeah, time of flight technique, yeah, pulse. Therefore, it, and but the flux it's it's much higher than the reactor, yeah. So sometimes we call that is the continuous is a neutron is the reactor and the pulse and not continuous is the spallation, yeah. So two sources of the neutron. So it doesn't matter. When when it come out, they have the same the same uh, you know the same uh, uh, property yeah. So they have uh, mass and also charge yeah charge no no charge yes spin yeah. That therefore can uh, determine where is the with the magnetic uh, material yeah uh, uh, where when this happen and then uh, several yeah the dipole moment nuclear magnet and it has like a particle so to to think sometimes it's like a wave neutron uh, yes and then so they can travel but it's sometimes it's like a particle yeah so particle they have a velocity kinetic energy yeah so so this is the uh, the small uh, you know the the simple formula yeah? remember about this so if you have the energy here energy of the neutron coming yes it's quite high the temperature here is in moderator yeah so you have to cool down otherwise it uh it's uh too, too high yeah the wavelength is too, too small yeah so you have that and then therefore they are cold reactor thermal reactor or hot reactor yeah it depending on uh, the uh, sometimes we call it cold source yeah the energy because it's cold uh, you have lower but you, you have the temperature of this about the wavelength just different yeah it's just uh, different from from what uh, one reactor to, to the other okay okay why do we why do we do neutron yeah because there are several advantages yeah you, you can answer where atom is and what atom does the two things yeah just actually the two things first you have uh, just do diffraction the other in elastic okay so uh of course, this uh, the background of this, the basic uh, we need to, to know. Yeah, uh, that is the first, and then the other also uh, it can uh, see the light atom because what uh, the neutron uh, see it is uh, directly the cross section. Yeah, it doesn't matter there is a heavy atom, but what uh, what the neutron can see is the the uh, cross section. Yeah, the coherent. So. Uh, normally the simple way yeah the basic uh, so you have the incident neutron you have the sample it's scattered yeah this is the sample this is like the diffraction okay but of course when you have this and then you have this uh yeah this triangle you move here so you have the q yeah the q is the momentum yeah so uh, the wave vector and then uh you have when it is the same it, we call this is the elastic scattering yeah normally for diffraction but if you have the difference yeah so it means that you have the inelastic yeah so so two things you you have the time to travel which is uh, uh in comparison with the energy uh, and then you have the space which is in comparison with the structure factor yeah so this is the uh, in, in reciprocal uh, uh system yeah so what what you do uh, incident and then you have the direction and then you have the number how, how, how much the number of neutron scatter per uh, per uh, well per condition for this condition yeah and then of course the you can have also the energy yeah this is for the inelastic so, so uh, it measure in uh, uh, the cross section measure in in barn yeah okay so uh, where yeah uh, so the, this universal when you have that as i mentioned before yeah uh, elastic scattering so you don't have the uh, the different yeah from this but if you have in elastic so there is a change so for the inelastic scattering you need the second uh, second uh, analyzer second uh, the first normally diffraction you have only one but in elastic you need the second monochromato yeah so you have because you have to analyze the energy yeah when the same 
become the true elastic. If not the same, become inelastic. Yeah. So this is what uh, we have normally in the reactor. But nowadays, in uh, installation, you can have directly the map, the hole. Yeah. So it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you need the technique. The technique of uh, the diffraction. Yeah. When neutron show where the atom are. That's uh, found by uh, Schultz, yeah, Professor Schultz. And then while, if you see in the second one here, yeah, so you have one direction, neutron. Normally, you will have the detector here, like here, it is uh, elastic, a diffraction. But you have another uh, here, yes, and then you have this, so this is the, we call analyzer. So you have the energy de dependence, so we call in elastic scattering. So this is a uh, Brockhaus mentioned that what atoms do, yeah, with the, the, the because uh, they change the energy and then uh, tell, uh, yeah. So how how it works, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we have to thank to to, to them, yes, to Professor uh, Brockhaus and uh, also Professor Shaw, yeah. Okay, so this is the, the depending uh, either whether single or uh, or. Um, many many nuclei yeah but uh, it is uh, the basic the basic for the, the neutron uh, scattering yeah so uh, we have to determine also a uh, uh, structure factor yeah structure factor uh, it is uh, if you do the uh, neutron uh, s of q it is structure factor yeah uh, so you you have this q is divine yeah before i mentioned that yeah of the uh, uh, coming in yeah the wave, uh, uh, factor coming in and then coming out and then you have the different shape yeah so you have this yeah uh, to have the structure factor yeah q uh, normally uh, with the the distance yeah the, the size but of course you, you have this uh, coherent length here scattering length yeah of, of uh, the the particle yeah each particle is different so you have to collect all together so every uh, well, element has different, yeah, different uh, either coherent, incoherent, yeah. But uh, you see here, yeah, uh, normally the uh, diffraction coming from uh, the coherent one. So if we see the incoherent does not give, uh, you know, does not give so much uh, structure, yeah. So for example, this is vanadium. Why, if we do neutron scattering, we use the vanadium? Because the vanadium gives the coherence very small, yeah. So you have the incoherent. So it means that uh, you what you will see only the material inside the the uh, inside the uh, uh, inside the vanadium vanadium. But if you put the aluminum aluminum can, for example, yes. So in aluminum can you will see the diffraction of aluminum. Yeah, so, so it's just so different. Yeah, sometimes the people use the beryllium because it's absorbed neutron. Yeah, so you have calculate also the the uh, 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 absorption. Yeah, uh, cross section. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so many uh, calculation. Yeah, so this is the when you put them together, the correlation from atom to atom. So you have this uh, we call the structure factor. Yeah, this is mostly for the elastic for diffraction. Okay, okay, so you you know but neutron and then the technique and yeah as i mentioned that on, on, only you differentiate between this is uh powder diffraction this is uh, like diffraction and then small angle this is just, you just transmission and then uh, radio uh, this is neutron radiography just different yeah it look like a film yeah so you have in elastic neutron scattering quasi elastic quasi elastic is more the inside yes and then in elastic about the uh, mill electron fold normally yeah so so many uh, you can do with uh, with neutron okay yeah so now we concentrate on y battery okay so if you see the battery electrode and cathode okay yeah so this material is interesting to be observed yeah because you, you don't see it okay even millimeter okay you can see the material but if you see what is the uh, what is uh, where is the lithium you, you cannot answer okay so I'm I'm thinking that the people who's doing uh, a battery, if you, they don't do neutron, it's just rather difficult to understand what is inside. Yeah. So you have this uh, cathode and electrolyte. Yeah. And then uh, 
So this is the research camp. Yeah, first study about the uh, maybe the graphite, about the separator, about the electrolyte, the new uh, solid electrolyte, the cathode. And if you open here, is that the micrometer? Yeah, you can see with the uh, uh, what is the uh, SEM, KM. But when you go to the angstrom, no, you need special instrument. You need the, the neutron. Yeah, the nuclear technique can see this. Yeah, so it doesn't matter because the the wave of the neutron is in angstrom so neutron like see directly okay yeah so the the other technology is rather difficult to, to find that uh, well with the synchrotron yeah, you can do but still because what they see is the surface yeah but neutron can directly go inside yeah inside the the nuclei so this is the well the, the neutron you can choose for for working uh, uh, on the material the battery material or synchrotron yesterday we have and then we will have also this uh, afternoon and also same yeah but of course all complementary to each other so we we need to to do and then uh, how to develop uh, not only about the material but how if you want to do the operando directly the uh, charge and discharge okay so uh well, the neutron travel. This is uh, in, in Indonesia. Yeah, we have Batan, uh, Batan, but no, it's green. Yeah, so you are welcome to come here. The neutron here with this the uh, the reactor source, and then there is a neutron guide hole, and then there is uh this is the neutron uh, you know neutron laboratory actually. Yeah, they call neutron laboratory. So they have the powder diffraction. Normally, this is for the uh, you know for the uh, in, uh, industry. Yeah. Now this is uh, you have also four cycle the fractometer. Yeah, you can see map. Yeah, and then you have this is a radiography. Yeah, neutron, and then uh, you have also high resolution, uh, small angle, and a small angle neutron scattering. Yeah, this is uh, by Mr. Eddie Giri uh, working on this. Yeah, so uh, they have also this is the HRPD high resolution photo diffraction. Yeah, and then triple axis. Oh, this is a triple axis actually. Maybe one one of them is triple axis, yeah. Uh, so we have this in Indonesia, yeah. Maybe I could say that uh, well, uh, the the thing is the the flux is low, yeah. So you need thirty hours uh, to to do at least the one of the uh, spectra, yeah, because of of, of course of uh, also the the detector, yeah. Uh, okay. So this is show how the neutron uh, interact. Yeah, with material. So the neutron just directly go to this uh, nuclear interaction. Yeah, directly to the uh, uh, nuclear. Yeah, but if you see here the X-ray, so you see the they call the uh, the oxide of this uh, uh, the uh, what is the because it does not travel yeah uh, this is k shell yeah so so this is a two different thing in, in, in the in the process yeah and then can see also because they have the dipole can see what is the interaction with the other uh, uh, spin or magnetic material yeah so so it this uh, what make a neutron different okay so the others because it see uh, neutron sees the uh, uh, the level of the uh, the element, the cross section. So what they see is what where is the lithium? Lithium has special minus, yeah. And then this is the uh, hydrogen and deuterium. This is called the contrast. So if you put the, uh, so you can see the different because because uh, neutron see this one, okay. But with the X-ray, you don't see it because it is small, too small. You know, hydrogen, deuterium, lithium cannot be seen with, with the X-ray. Yeah, you do X-ray, no, you do, you have a thing. Yeah, but but for neutron, does does not really matter whether heavy atom or not because what they see is this one. Okay, yeah. So this is one it advantage is why we need to do for the lithium. Yeah, because the lithium is the lightest element, solid element. Yeah number three yeah here the atom number three but have also special cross section okay so uh well i well when i written i decided to this should be an integrated because uh, rather difficult for the people to understand the neutron going to neutron okay so try it from the material yeah so we make the material the battery material so we produce and then the people want to know what is the the battery 
And afterward, we set the battery containing lithium. And afterward, we said that, okay, we see lithium, you have the spectrometer and the source is reactor. So this is the integrated, yeah, name of integrated laboratory, okay? So as I mentioned before, that is the, what we are now specific on, on the battery material, yeah? So whatever you, you want to, to see, yeah? But uh, first, uh, we will study about the, the material itself, yeah, either the cathode or the anode, okay? So this is one, one of the material we developed. I, I developed uh, for the last uh, decade. Uh, actually, I'm working on solid state battery. Okay? So this is important. Yeah? Normally, the electrolyte is solid, uh, liquid. Yeah? So we have to change with the material that called uh, sol solid electrolyte, which have the high ion conductivity. So it can replace the, uh, the material of uh, liquid, yeah? but it can transfer the ion yeah? inside the battery. So you need the high ionic conductivity, yeah? So there, there are many uh, working on, on this because this is the future of the battery material, yeah? You can work uh, with solid state uh, battery if uh, for thin film battery, micro, micro battery, yeah? So uh, the second, because of safety, yeah? Uh, if you use still uh, the use liquid electrolyte, the separator still use the, uh, uh, what is the polymer material, yeah, which you cannot, you know, above 70 degree centigrade, it will uh, screen, shrink, shrinkage, yeah, it, because it all will melt, yeah, so therefore it will be sort between positive and negative, yeah, therefore this is this is the future technology we have to, to study, yeah, so uh, the other also, this is uh, also why why happened with this, uh, you know, swollen with the battery, yeah, it, it happened with also uh, the, the Boeing 787 about the safety, okay? So uh, the safety become first. So we need to find the new material, okay? So the lithium material or the solid electrolyte, and then formally, long ago, I developed uh, the glass, the glass material. At first, normal glass, and then super become super ionic glass, yeah? So. So we have to study the uh, structure, structure factor, yeah, something like this. This is a diffraction, yeah. So what is the difference between liquid and uh, solid and the structure factor? Actually, in in higher, yeah, in higher Q, yeah. That is the. Uh, so I developed this material, glass, yeah. Sometimes uh, at beginning I work with silver, yeah. This is silver phosphate, and then this is silver sulfur, yeah. So. Well, now the problem with neutron, you need a lot of, or not, not the neutron, I mean, the inelastic neutron scattering, you need a lot of sample. You need at least uh, 30 gram. You have to make it the same, yeah? So I, I, I made the sample in, in Japan, the uh, professor uh, Arai um, give the, uh, make me a lab in Japan and we went to ISIS. This is one of the experiment, yes, in, in ISIS. So we have to wrap the, the sample along the hole. Yes, why you, do, you don't put the whole uh, things inside? Because it will give you the back scattering, yeah? So, and then you put this material and then uh, you put inside of the spectrometer, yes? And then you change the temperature, yeah? So this is the, uh, the work and we, uh, we did uh, together with the uh, UK and Japan, yeah? And Japan collaboration, yeah? And the other, this is, uh, that is an elastic scattering. And the other, this is the, in uh, using dual spec, this is spectrometer, yeah? So we developed, also this is glass, yeah? And we do the uh, temperature dependent, yeah? Inside to experiments and then see what is the difference, yeah? There is some phenomena. If you drop, there is increasing of, of uh, the uh, ionic conductivity a thousand times. So what is inside, yeah? You, you can see, you can measure the, conductivity, but you don't know what, yeah? But if you see here, yeah, before doping, you will have this, uh, some peak, they call pre-peak. So we have to understand, actually, this is the long range order. Yeah, so we have to do some calculation that actually coming and uh, the, the material that expands, so making easier for the neutron, uh, uh, the lithium uh, can uh, can diffuse, yeah? Therefore, uh, increasing the conductivity, yeah? That, that's the experiment well, yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, this is the, the result from the uh, inelastic scattering, yeah? So you have, what you have, this is, we do the uh, temperature dependent. And if you go here, you have the, uh, uh, you have the energy dependent, yeah? Uh, and then, uh, so you, you see here, yeah, okay? 
this is the uh, the energy here okay this is the q here so if you take only only the zero one you have the elast truly elastic scattering yeah but if you go here this is elastic scattering so the best well when i was a student there there are no uh, such kind of instrument you know so i have to do maybe like 30 days to op to obtain a, a few points yeah but now you can just like like camera screen you can directly have what is the uh, ener energy dependent and also q dependent yeah so uh, so you can see and then take this part and then you can have all the different yeah so if you say here uh, there is some you know uh, some phenomena it changes yeah this is the uh, with high conductivity something like this and then with low conductivity something like this you see yeah there is a uh, 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 what is the uh, the phonon yeah the phonon and then uh, the the uh, uh, process here yeah because this is the in the uh, mill electron yeah so you can see different if if the only uh, using this you don't you don't see what what's going on yeah so uh so you can see uh there is also the phenomena of the boson peak etc yeah so this is the uh this is the another with the uh, structure factor which is the in the ak yeah but no no change to j part yeah so you have this phenomena yeah this is interesting i mean uh, we are working on this what's going on yeah if you don't dope you don't have this yeah finally uh, we have to do yeah several experiment and then find find out what is uh, going on yeah so actually this is the uh, yeah a kind of the long range or medium range order yeah so you have that and then uh Okay, so you have that uh, before, yeah. This is the what makes you different, yeah. Elastic and inelastic. So you have the the Q different. Okay, uh, yeah. This is the formula of uh, the different, yeah. Before only S of Q, it's a structure factor, but in elastic you have S of Q omega, sometimes E, yeah. Omega. This is what is the energy uh, dependent, and then if you make this uh, truly elastic is uh, omega zero is elastic scattering yeah uh, and then q is uh, the wave factor yeah so you, uh, this determine the energy this is the determine the position yeah so in neutron only two things time and position yeah okay so this is another experiment we did in Japan. yeah in Japan also the same so uh, i have to make the sample sample and then wrapping it the process is still the same yeah so we have to do the the elastic scattering and then uh yeah it's a uh, yeah it's a lot of fun also yeah so this is the some of the result we uh we found the boson peak uh well and then we try to find out what is the difference between uh without on uh, with the boson peak yeah this is elastic scattering yeah so you have the elastic structure factor we have also the uh inelastic one so each material they have a different different uh different phenomena different uh feature yeah okay okay after you we have do the, uh, five, the material yeah five uh, minutes so uh, we, uh, we find out uh, how if you have the, the battery yeah this is uh we work together also with um, sir michael yeah uh to find out uh, to see the material of lithium phosphate yes and then uh we try to to do the x-ray and neutron yeah so we do the preliminary in indonesia yeah preliminary this is the the scattering in indonesia the neutron and then this is the uh, uh the x-ray okay so if you have this structure you do refinement so there is no change there is no difference between neutron and x-ray so the question is why should we do neutron okay so this is the same yeah, okay but because you stop until this, but you have to do further. Yeah, what make the difference? Yeah, so if you have to see this uh, one one side, so you do the uh, foyer map. Yeah, in detail. Uh, well, how how it move? Uh, you can ask uh, Mr. Michael. Yeah, but here, so you you can see what is the difference. Yeah, the difference is here. If you do the neutron. Yes, this is the uh, you do the uh, you do the X-ray. The neutron C. This is the cross section. This is the foyer map. Yeah, because the cross section of the lithium is uh, you can see here uh, in the structure negative. Okay. Yeah, 
ya minus point uh, the scattering length ya yeah, and then uh, but the x-ray just see see 3815 so it almost hardly seen ya yeah? but you can you can you know exactly what where it is ya yeah? the lithium the oxygen the uh, phosphorus ya yeah? uh, and also uh, we do uh, the others yeah for the uh, lithium iron phosphate i think uh, this is the same yeah uh, okay uh, okay this is the seal uh, the same yeah this is the the two thing uh, what make different okay uh, another what we can study uh, this is the uh, so we bring the sample after experiment to ansto for further uh, you know for the investigation yeah for further investigation so we, we we do the very low temperature and room temperature for lithium the room temperature is very high yeah if you know uh, and in 3k is they frozen yeah but at room temperature there's a diffusion yeah there's some change yeah motion yeah so this can be you know uh, explained yeah this is the uh, how it move yeah uh, the diffusion uh, you know uh, direction also with the, the lithium yeah so uh, you can you can uh, understand it from uh, the neutron scattering yeah Okay, uh, this is another uh, kind of uh, cathode, lithium iron phosphate. Yeah, so you have a different, and then back again, you have this lithium, this is, uh, you have uh, iron, yeah, you have uh, phosphorus also here, and then just check this, okay, yeah. Here is, iron is so very high, you should compare with the uh, lithium, yeah, but we'll see with the neutron, you can have it, yeah, so with, with yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, you cannot see the, the different. Yeah, this done in uh, in Batan. I think in Batan, this is the X-ray. Yeah, we can do the comparison, and then so we can see this uh, to make a different. Yeah, so this is with neutron. You can still see. Yeah, and then this is with the uh, hardly seen with the uh, with the X-ray. Okay, so you have the same with uh, mangan, lithium mangan oxide, yeah, and then uh, no, if you already make the battery, the battery cannot be observed directly with X-ray unless you have the uh, very, uh, because the, only the surface, if you do the X-ray, maybe only the can, yeah, so you have to spatial apparatus to, to make it uh, can be seen with, with, the, uh, with the XRD, yeah, so uh, they, they are uh, in the world they're working on the operando uh neutron operando it's been that during charge start what's going on yeah because you cannot see or oh, it's inside uh you know inside the battery you cannot see you can see the chart start, but what's going on inside the structure chain uh you, uh, you cannot see uh, directly so you need the neutron yeah so uh you need the neutron to to see what what's going on yeah so the battery sometimes it uh, in the cylinder cell or in pod cell or in coin cell yeah but this is the battery this is complex you have already cathode anode and everything inside yeah but uh, can we do it with neutron of course yeah this is one one uh, this is the the one in in button we have this yeah uh, you can do also uh, in situ yeah in situ uh, uh, but you need a spatial you know uh, spatial window yeah spatial window yeah with beryllium and then uh you you don't make with can but they have special and then but you know you can you can see uh during chat and but but normally it's only the the surface yeah uh, uh it is uh but you can still do yeah this is this is uh quite uh, important also you can you can see uh, everything here yeah you can do separator and, and other yeah okay and then you have the battery and then you will see what is uh, uh, inside yes yeah? so, so you can you can do uh, put the battery and then you have to separate the background you have to separate what where is the separator yeah but the most important you, you what you want to check it's uh, what is going on with the cathode and anon yeah what is going on yeah so so this you can observe it with neutron yeah this is for example during charge and discharge yeah this is uh, the during charging and discharging and this is what happened yeah so we call sometimes this strobo, stroboscopic experiment yeah this is happened in second yeah i think it's rather uh, difficult with with the uh, the 
the neutron uh, in uh, because you need a very high flux to do this yeah so in answer this possible yeah uh, doing this yeah because you can scan yeah uh, directly during charge and discharge so so you know what what's going on yeah uh, lithium coming to the uh, uh, what is the graphite uh, and then you can see the structure and then when it's coming back again yeah to become lithium phosphate lithium uh, or iron phosphate or uh, lithium uh, carbon yeah so this is also the same yeah uh, than in in japan in yeah al almost uh, i think uh, this become the trend of all over the world yeah since the uh, the industry in in Japan uh, mostly uh, they use neutron uh, coming from in battery industry, finally uh, Japan developed special instrument named Spica. Yeah, Spica only for the battery, really. Yeah, for industry battery industry. So uh, fortunately, uh, our team Pak uh, Tegu, yeah, uh, can do experiment, bring the battery that developed in Indonesia and put in the beam and then study what is going on yeah so you can see here yeah what what the change okay yeah what, what change of the you know uh this is the uh this spacing yeah and then uh during tight and discharge yeah uh, i think it is uh very uh very interesting so you can see that uh during charging and then back again and uh this is kind of uh uh we have to explore as the if we work uh, on the battery uh, research yeah i think a lot of thing and of course uh, in in anso they do also the same thing they put the sample they tie uh, ion they will see also what what's going on during chart and discharge so everybody making when everybody i mean most most the institutes some also do this this kind of uh, work yes yeah it's the same put this and see what the anode peak coming and then uh, the cathode peak what's going on because they are special in uh, in the uh, uh, in uh, what is the into theta yeah Spe special yeah they have a special sp uh, the spacing yeah so you can determine which which come from yeah of course after you remove all the you know the other that you uh, the other material okay so the other steps uh, is this, uh, also you can put with the uh, radiography and see what is going on after and before. Yeah, this is the uh, showing also how how important the neutron. You can see, uh, yeah, you can see that just exactly uh, what is inside. Yeah, after a few hours discharge. Yeah, and then uh, with uh, 100 milliampere uh, discharge, and you can see uh, what is going on. If there is a crack, you can see also. This is uh, important, yeah. So uh, I think this uh, should be also developed for industry. And the other, if you have the pot cell, you can put also the transmission, okay, uh, and then see what's going on with the swollen of the battery. I think this is a kind of uh, thing. Uh, yeah, you, you can see here there is a heat uh, heating process, and so what's going on, and then they, they they try to find out, yeah. But of course, with this using the transmission transmission. Okay, yeah, so you can see here, yeah, this, this is problem with the battery, and then actually there is some, yeah, this is the airborne, and then uh, you can have the structure, and then, okay, so actually there is a, a thermal uh, form, yeah, inside, because there is reaction, yeah, lithium, and then uh, you have the uh, PF6 as the electrolyte. So once it's reaction, uh, you have the oxygen there, yeah, the battery, lithium battery uh, against the against the uh, uh, water vapor of uh, uh, yeah so need really really dry okay so you have to avoid once you have uh, the uh, the water inside yeah uh, so it will happen because the lithium instead of become the lithium ion become the lithium hydrogen okay this is another kind of the experiment yeah in uh, thing in, in different so the method is similar yeah they do in uh do in situ i think if indonesia want to work on this i think we have to concentrate also yeah i think this is very important yeah because there are a lot of uh, people working on battery yeah but but maybe we have, we have to to do also these things yeah this is a advanced material but what we have to uh, to work on this yeah okay the young generation especially because i don't have much time anymore to do the experiment okay yeah so we have uh, seen that uh, how important 
uh, the neutron, uh, yeah, the neutron travel, yeah, the neutron the same, and the world not changing to the spallation. There are European spallation source, there are American spallation source, there are China spallation source. The world neutron is so big. Okay, so we have to study, we have to learn, we have to do the collaboration. Yeah, therefore the society for. So we hope that uh, with this uh, we can open our mind that uh, yeah, neutron is very important because it can answer yes, uh, sign a thing that you cannot see with the other technique. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, I think one of the meeting of the neutron meeting in 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 India. In all the EC and then also the facility director. Uh, so yeah, it's not as usually normally only a few women. Yeah. So this is a uh, Professor Darmindo. Yeah, bring uh, some student to come for the Aunsa school. So I hope that the in the coming uh, there will be uh, after pandemic there will be opportunity for you to attend the Aunsa school, which is move from one country to the others, and then you can send the delegate from Indonesia. I think uh, that is for me. Thank you, Mrs. Indri.